Hey guys, welcome back. In last lecture, we talked about how we identify if a problem can be solved using dynamic programming. You may find all or any of those points to be same as the identification points to some other famous strategies. And that's why you may find yourself stuck between choosing one of those strategies in middle of your interview. That's why to make things more clear, in this lecture, we're going to do some differentiation between these techniques. So let's see how DP is different from recursion, how it is different from divide and conquer, and how it is different from greedy. So first, let's talk about recursion. We've already discussed how DP is different from recursion, as it's simply an optimization over recursion. Same problems can be solved with recursion, but if problems have overlapping subproblems, then definitely the recursive solution is going to take more time as it's gonna be calculating same subproblems repeatedly. Now, let's talk about divide and conquer. In divide and conquer, we divide the problem and then we solve those subproblems to construct the solution of original problem by combining results of those subproblems, right? But the subproblems in divide and conquer are not overlapping. They are independent from each other, but in case of dynamic programming, the subproblems are overlapping in nature. If you think of any divide and conquer algorithm, let's say merge sort, you divide the array in two halves and both the subarrays are independent from each other. At no point, they're gonna repeat. Now, if you think of dynamic programming, you know the example of Fibonacci sequence where the subproblems may be overlapping. Now, let's differentiate between dynamic programming and greedy. Greedy and dynamic programming both are used when we are asked for optimal solution. But greedy approach does not guarantee the optimality. We have to test it with different cases to check if the greedy is providing the optimal result but dynamic programming will generate an optimal solution using principle of optimality. The next difference is that in dynamic programming, we choose at each step, but the choice may depend on the solution to subproblems. Whereas in greedy algorithm, we make whatever choice seems best at the moment. And then we solve the subproblems arising after the choice is made. So most of the time, it is easy to implement the solution with greedy. So these were the difference between greedy and DP. For example, we have the coin change problem. The coin change problem with greedy does not always guarantee optimal solution. 